part two of replacing the brackets that hold on the leaf springs on a 97 Ranger. Uh, there has to be a part two because if we come over here, there was in the first video where my leaf spring was hitting the bed and breaking it. Well, there, the other ones broke too. But I got the bed off this time, took a cutoff wheel, and just ripped that bolt that was stuck on. I hit it with an impact, it wouldn't come out, so I just cut it. Uh, I've already got two of the rivets out, and I have the two of the rivet studs where I ripped the head off, and I'm just about to hit them with a hammer, try to knock them out. We're going to try to uh, finish the rest of it up. Got the bottom one here hammered down flat the top ones being a bit more stubborn so I figured why not a suitable application of heat When in doubt, grinders out. How about that? All it took was swinging the hammer with both hands, it came straight out. And we're back. Uh, it's a new day, like a month later, uh, but it should be instant for you guys. Um, I got my grinder, got my professional extension cord, pulled the ranger back in front of the house. Today, we're gonna be tackling these. You see I already started burning the bushing out, but I'm gonna have to cut the heads off the bolts to get the bolts out and then the new bushings in. So without further ado, let's get back to the old grindy burny thing. Well, that's one bolt cut through. So now I'm gonna attempt to hammer that bushing out 
and when it inevitably doesn't do anything, I'm going to get the torch, burn the rubber, and try to knock that sleeve and bushing out. Hey look, it inevitably didn't do anything, but I did manage to knock my grinder off and break the flappy disc. Well, it's not a flappy disc. Break the grinding disc. Luckily I have more. It's fine. But time to get the torch and make a lot of smoke. All I have is this wimpy little propane torch, but we're going to set here for what is inevitably going to be quite a while. And we're going to try to cook that bushing out. See if we can't get it out of there. So, after about 10 minutes of torching it, hammering it, torching it, hammering it, there's one half melted bushing. I got completely covered in melted rubber which was fun I burned my hand a couple times and then I gave it a good scrape with my pry bar so that should be ready for the new bushing okay with five more minutes of beating that bushing with a hammer because it's the wrong one but it will work <sighs> got it in it's all marred to crap on this side but on this side just regular old bushing so I will have to run and get a set of bolts to hold it in place because it, the new bushing didn't come with a bolt luckily I have the bushing for that side so I'll run and get those before I put that one in so I know what size to get one quick trip to the farm supply store and that's one side done and ready until I can jack it up and bolt it right there now it's time to start on this side and we'll just repeat the same process okay that's one bracket hacked through and bent out of the way now it's just time for another suitable application of fire I was smarter this time used a drill to drill out most of the bushing and then burnt the rest but now it's time to hammer in the new bushing well, I may not have a lift, but I have a toe strap and a tree branch. I got them all up enough that the bolts are in, nuts are on. Now I just gotta tighten them down, let it down, and she'll be done. Aw, it's not a low rider no more. Well, that all went back together a lot easier than it came off. Uh, got the bed bolts back in a uh, quick reminder the two bed bolts in the front are longer than the four in the back I forgot that and therefore had to take one out and move it uh, Got the bed liner caps back on got the tow hooks back on bed liner back in and There we go, it's fixed So once again uh, thank you all for watching. My name has been Junior, and this has been how to beat the crap out of yourself and change the leaf screen brackets on a 1997 Ford Ranger.